In this lesson, we're going to explore devices on a modern pipe organ or a modern digital organ that allow an organist to pre-program and recall any combination of stops throughout the entire instrument at any time in order to make instantaneous changes, rapid changes in stop selection and in tone color and dynamics. This is accomplished through programming and using pistons. There are two types of pistons. General pistons, which will allow you to set and recall stops over the entire organ and all of its divisions. And then we have divisional pistons, also known as local pistons. And these allow for stops to be changed only on one division of the organ. All organs are a bit different. In this particular case, an organ of this size doesn't really require divisional pistons. So we have here on this instrument 16 general pistons. So it'll control the stops over the three divisions of the organ, the pedal, the swell, and the great division. We really don't know until we test them as to whether this is a local divisional piston or a general piston. And the way to do that is just to simply try it and watch what happens with the stops. Now, I just pushed general one, and as you'll see, I had stops appearing on each of the divisions. This indicates that it's a general piston. Now let's say I want to set one of these pistons to my combination, what I'd like to hear when I play a piece. And let's say we cancel the organ first. So now we have no stops on. I'm going to select some stops, just at random. There we are. Now, if I'd like to save what I just selected and recall it later, here's the process. On a modern combination action. It's called a capture combination action. We push the setter button in, and that's usually found on the lower left. And then we press, while holding that in, we press the button of the piston that we want to save it to. Then we release the button, and then finally we release the setter button. Those stops should be saved now to what I just pushed, which was general three. Let's check it. I'm going to cancel the organ. Now I'm going to push General 3. And did you remember what I had? Yep, that's right. It's exactly what I had programmed. This combination action is working fine. Now there are some organs that are older that have an older style of combination action. It's a set and hold style. Now, there won't be a setter button on those types of older instruments. What you do to set them is to hold the piston in the thumb piston in that you want to set. And then while holding it in, physically manipulate the stops and they should stay where you put them, up or down, into the all, or stop knobs, uh, as the case may be, into the position you want them. And then release the piston button. Uh, so if you don't see that setter button, you can be assured you're playing a much older design instrument. Now there's 16 general pistons here. We also have toe pistons called toe studs, which are found here near the pedal board, just above the sharps. And often these are duplicates of general pistons. Here we have one, two, three, and four. The toe studs here actually duplicate one, two, three, and four of the general pistons. Now, let's check it out. Remember these stops. I'm going to cancel the organ. I'm going to hit general three on the toe stud. And look, it's the same combination that I selected for general three on the thumb piston. So we can recall stops very quickly and program any number of them. It's really only limited by the number of generals and divisional pistons you have. You can program as many as you want. Go to them when you need them and continue your music making without missing a beat. Now, in addition to general pistons and divisional pistons, we have thumb pistons and toe studs, which are dedicated to changing one function only. 
And those are called reversibles. When you hit a reversible piston, something happens and you hit it again and it undoes what it just did. For example, here on this organ, we have a swell to pedal reversible. When I hit it, I get the swell to pedal coupler. I hit it again, it removes it. Same thing with the grate to pedal and hit it again, it removes it. And finally over here we have a sforzando reversible. We hit this and the entire organ is full without the stops being moved of course, which is customary. We hit it again and it removes the sforzando. Now we're going to find reversibles on thumb pistons and some of the other organs we encounter, but uh, you'll find them to a degree either on toe studs or thumb pistons. Thank you.